Let's start with the base light. Here we place a 150 watt soft light above the product and create a nice reflection on the glass tube. Now we are lighting the curved surface of the light head and position it in such a way that we get a reflex on the inner side of the yoke. Lighting the inner and the outer side of the yoke, placing the backlight and creating another reflex on the glass tube. Accent for the ribs on the yoke. Another accent is placed on the looking knob and its structure. Generally, we're using scrims to reduce light intensity. But here, all light levels are achieved by distancing the light, using the data light focus control, or using scrims. We did not dim any of the lights because this would have resulted in a reddish, warm color temperature, which for this kind of product photography, we were trying to avoid. The styrofoam helps to augment the contrast on the product using indirect light from a softbox. Now, a little accent is placed on the front side of the yoke. And yet another accent on the mesh grid. Finally, we have placed a glow effect behind the object onto the background. For this, we are using our museum barn door with rotating leaves. Some light shapes are easily done and comfortably achieved with this special barn door. Instead of using a standard barn door and dealing with a lot of black wrap foil. And that is what the finished product photograph looks like.